everybody, Christy Titus here. I wanna thank you for joining me for my latest episode of Pursue the Wild, Tips from the Wild. And when we're hunting Western big game animals, especially when it comes to calling in elk, those shot opportunities that were presented oftentimes come very quickly. One of the greatest investments we can make pre-season is learning what our max point blank is for our particular archery setup. Now, what max point blank is, is taking a single pin and having one hold at center mass that will give you a terminal impact at a close to a far distance. Now, every bow is going to have a different max point blank that's going to be ideal. Everyone has to individually determine what their max point blank or hunt zero is with a single pin prior to heading into the field. In order to calculate your max point blank, first you need to understand the terminal radius of the animal that you're pursuing. So for example, if you're pursuing antelope or small deer, they're gonna have an eight to nine inch terminal radius. Or if you're pursuing an animal like an elk, they're gonna have around a 16 inch terminal radius. So for today's example, I did a demonstration on an elk sized target. Where this comes in really handy is if I have a collar behind me and I'm set up a shooter and I know an elk is coming in, I can go ahead in advance and pre-range some trees around me. I know when that elk enters that radius, I can terminally place an arrow without taking the time to range estimate the bull. Let me show you an example. So this radius circle, is 19 inches total. I like to give a small buffer on an animal of a few inches. Even though I know most bull elk have a larger terminal radius than 16 inches, I like to trim back the numbers to roughly 16 to give me a buffer zone to ensure terminal placement of arrows at distance. So from center on this example, I can take my 40 yard pin and at 25 yards, if the elk enters the radius, I know the arrow's gonna impact roughly seven and a half inches high. If I'm not sure where the bull is coming in exactly, and I know he's a little farther out, that out to 45 yards, my arrow is gonna drop roughly eight inches low. So if the bull enters between 25 and 45 yards, I can use a single pin hold and terminally connect on the elk without having to range him. The velocity of your bow is going to establish the distance and coinciding pin that's going to give you the greatest max point blank. In general, smaller statured shooters and those people pulling lighter poundages should start experimenting this theory with their 40 yard pin. Now somebody that has a longer draw length and pulling a heavier poundage would want to start this experiment with their 50 yard pin. What we're looking for in the example when we're shooting is at 20 yards, what is the vertical climb? And is that vertical climb acceptable for the terminal margin of the animal we're pursuing? If the animal shows up outside of your predetermined terminal radius, it's really imperative that you range estimate the animal because your arrow drop off is going to increase significantly as the distance also increases to the animal. Let me give you a quick example of, for me, at 45 yards, my impact was here. A mere five yards later, with a 40 yard pin hold, my impact took me far outside of the terminal ability using a single pin hold, which would result in me actually missing the animal. But if he's anywhere outside of that 45 yard radius, I have to be sure to take the time, range estimate him, and use the corresponding pin that it's going to give me that terminal performance that I'm looking for. I appreciate you all joining me today for this latest episode of Tips from the Wild. I encourage you all to go home and do some research on your own archery setup to see where your max point blank is to help you be more successful on your next big game hunt. <laughs>